Okay, I'm gonna explain about this uh, special pen. Uh, it's a very unique feature it has. And uh, this is called the mana mode pen. Mana mode means it has uh, the volume controlling system in it. What kind of volume is this creaking sound? You know, this kind of pen, you know, the, especially the engineer kind of guy loved this doing, you know, while the meeting. And then this is kind of good feeling, so it's addictive. But at the same time, it bothers to other people. Then, you know, the, the designer thought of this, you know, okay, let's, let's have some function to reduce the sound. So this creaking rotation switch is a creaking part. So once I did it, it's a smaller sound. You know, this sound, this all the regular sound, and then the difference between this, this is the mono mode, the sound, not only the, the volume reduced, but the, the, the sound, the pitch of the sound changed. Because this, this uh, the high tone of the voice, high frequency of the, the sound, is, it bothers in the ear for, for the human being. So that this is very well considered. Only the the low frequency is kept, but the high frequency was cancelled. So that you know, it's still have even the mono mode. It still have kind of achievement feeling of this clicking, but you know, this noisy part is cut off. This is made by Zebra. Zebra is a very well known uh, Japanese stationery company, and then this was um, designed by some women. You know, the the designer was women. Now she was, as usual, she was in the meeting and then she was so sick of the guy was doing this. And she thought, okay, let's do that. And she made that the questionnaire, questionnaire to the client. And then, you know, 50% of them loved this sound, feeling. And another 50% of them were, you know, sick of the sound. So she made this alternative function. The difference from the Singaporean pen you know, to the Japanese pen is this kind of, you know, function. And I, I add one more thing, is this creaking thing is quite addictive. Addictive, this, it's, it's, you know, the research is done, this routine, simple routine movement of the finger can release the petite tension and uh, release the stress. So that's why people, are, when they are in a, you know, thinking problem, you got a problem, you keep doing this. So in anywhere in the world, there are similar thing in the old history, like a two, two, two ball, you know, playing with, with a two ball. In Greek, you know, there are similar stuff like that in China too. So people knew it, you know, if you keep doing similar thing on the finger, then you, know, you can release attention. So once this function is not, it's, it's very deep because, you know, it's not only the writing tool anymore, it's gonna be, you know, next stage means, you know, you have you know, some kind of partner of your finger. So that's a really high stage as a tool. You know, it's not a tool anymore. It's your partner to your finger. So it's like, you know, you can't live with it without it. So that's, that's a goal of the pen, isn't it?